Emmanuel. If God is with us, if God is with a nation, if God is with me, you, hallelujah. If God is with us, no matter the situation you are passing through, if God is with you, he will comfort you. The Bible says, the Lord will see you through. He does not promise to keep you away. He does not promise to keep you away from trouble, from trial, from foolish things. He never promised to keep you away, but he promised to see you through. That's God's promise. No matter the situation you are passing through, as a Christian, if God is with us, who can be against us? And if God is with you, he will see you through. Tell your neighbor, if God is with me, he will see me through. He will comfort me. Hallelujah. Let me see your copy. Hallelujah. Just look at the message. Our confession gives us possession. Our confession gives us what? Possession. As your confession given you possession? Ask your neighbor. Again, ask once again. Our confessions gives us possession. I would like to take you to the book of Matthew 21, verse 21. So Jesus answered, said to them, Assuredly, I said to you, if you have faith and do not doubt, take note of that, you will not only do what was done to the fig tree, but also you will say to this mountain, be moved and be cast into the sea, and it will be what? It will be done. Can you see? What a God we have to worship. What a son we have to praise. What a foolish world. Hallelujah. Whatsoever a man confesses in faith, he shall receive. Can you see? It is natural as a Christian to fortune in faith because that is the nature of our life. Because that is the nature of our world. I can hear you. That is the nature of your life. You have to speak. Speak out. Say, that is the nature of my life. You say you are a child of God. God's title for us is a believer. In, from Genesis to Revelation, where God refers to us, he calls us a believer, not doubter. That is the name God knows as a believer. That is God's title for me. Tell your neighbor, God's title for me is a believer. That is the name. Did God know me? If God wants to call me, I will say, believer. That is the name. What is the position of faith here? And what is the position of confession? This is what we are going to talk about. Faith works 
in the direction of genuine confession. Faith works in the direction of genuine love. What do I mean? Faith follows in the footprints of our confession. Faith and confession cannot go opposite direction. Faith and confession cannot go opposite what? Opposite direction. The far your faith goes, the far your confession goes. It landed there. Your faith also will land at the same point. When the bed of confession is well laid, faith will lie secure on it. You say, as you lay your bed, you lie on it. This is where I'm going. The far faith goes, the far confession goes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm here. Thank you, Jesus. I'm here. Thank you, Jesus. I'm here. If that declaration comes from faith, I will be healed indeed. Hallelujah, I'm blessed. Hallelujah, I'm blessed. Hallelujah. Yeah. If that declaration comes from faith, I will be healed. I will be blessed indeed. When the bed of confession is well laid. Faith will lie secure on it. Whatever you receive from God is a portion of your confession. When your confession is strong, your faith is strong. When your confession is weak, your faith is weak. This means your confession is your faith. When my confession is strong, my faith is strong. When my confession is weak, my faith is weak. This means my confession is my faith. Because many don't know the difference between confession and faith. And this is the fundamental, the foundation. Before you begin to talk of Holy Spirit, these are the things you need to know. <laughs> so that you put padlock in your mouth. You will not just open mouth and talk. Your confession is your faith. Your faith is controlled, is ruled by your confession. The far your confession goes, the far your faith goes. If your confession is weak, your faith is weak. Because your confession is your faith. Because the far the confession goes, the far faith goes. Hallelujah. Unbelief grows 
with negative confession. A confession of failure puts failure on the throne. I don't know. It cannot be possible. A confession of failure puts failure on the throne. If I confess weakness, weakness dominates me. By my confession, I am saved or lost. By my confession, I have plenty or lack. By my confession, I am strong or weak. If your confession is strong, your faith is strong. If your confession is weak, your faith is weak. When the bed of confession is well laid, faith will lie secure on it. I am healed. If that declaration comes from faith, I will be healed indeed. Your confession is your present attitude towards the Father. Tell your neighbor. Tell your neighbor, tell your neighbor. Your, your neighbor it seems it's not here, you clear. So that you'll be very careful of what you say. Say, awake. awake. Your confession is your present attitude towards the Father. Say, awake. You will not just open your mouth and begin to say, eh, I don't know what is happening. Eh, I don't know, I don't know. No, 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 no. Your confession is your present attitude towards the Father. If your confession is negative, your attitude towards the Father is negative. Tell your neighbor, if my confession is negative, my attitude towards the Father is negative. If my confession is positive, my attitude towards the Father is positive. You begin to say, ah, what's wrong? You have to be very careful of what you say the Bible says. You are what you believe in your heart and what you confess with your mouth. Tell your neighbor, I am what I believe in my heart and what I confess with my lips. You are what you confess with your lips and believe in your heart. My confession it's my faith. When I say, I'm healed, I'm healed. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. It's all about now. Let someone say, now. 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 Faith acts now. Faith believes now. Faith confesses now. Say, now. Now. Faith acts now. Faith confesses now. Faith receives now. Your confession is your present attitude towards the Father. If your confession is negative, your attitude towards the Father is negative. If your confession is positive, your attitude towards the Father is positive. So when you live here, you have to be very careful of what you give your attention to. Let him give you a test. The first sermon. 17 verse 46. This day the law will deliver you into my hand. And I will strike you and take your hair 
from you, and this day I will give the carcasses of the camp of the Philistine to the best of the air and the wild beast of the earth. That is David. Here, David confessed that victory was already on his side even before the battle began. Here, David confessed that victory was on his side even before the battle began. Be careful of what you say, what you confess. You cannot live above your words. When your declaration comes from faith, your word becomes prophetic. When your declaration says, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, go there, you will see. If that declaration comes from faith, the word you speak becomes prophetic. All David said came to pass. The life you live is as a result of your confession. It is a pity that you never confess failure and you find yourself in a failure realm. It is a pity many never confess failure, but they are living in a failure realm because their confession never in harmony with their belief. Ask your neighbor, do you ever confess the life you are living now? Ask your neighbor. <laughs> Ninety percent here will say no. If not, 99 percent will say, if you have to be sincere, you will say, no, I never confess the life I'm living now. Because the life they are living is not pleasing to them. Because you see people putting on beautiful dress, follow them home, you will see opposite. Because you see people packing jeep, lesser jeep, whatever jeep, whatever vehicle you pack out there, follow the owner of the vehicle home, you will see, just live with the person two days, three days. You will know that that vehicle is under, under, under loan. Because you see the body big or whatever stature or whatever face. Brother, ask your neighbor, do you ever confess the life you live now? Do you ever confess the life you live now? Ask your neighbor, do you ever confess the life you are living now? Yes. Tell those who are under the influence of these silicas. Yes. Tell them, tell them. Once again, I can hear no. When you meet people, they will tell you that, look, <laughs> this is the life I plan, this is what I, the kind of life I would have loved to live. But some will say, if maybe God will send me back when I, maybe in another world, I would like to be like this. I would like to be like that. Okay, the question you need to ask yourself, when you get home, ask your children, do you like to be like me? <laughs> when you get home, just ask your children. If you cannot provide answer to this question, ask your own children, say, look, come, come. Would you like to be like me? He will first of all say, when you are facing him, he will say, yes. When you turn back, say, no, I cannot be like this man. want to inherit Wahala. Don't children know there is better life than the life you live? 
If I'm right, let's have your hand. Your little children, you think they don't listen to your prayer. It's time, it's, it's time to pray. They will move close to their parents. Peter will say, Lord, Lord, I don't like the life I'm living now. I don't like the life. <laughs> they will put that one down. Say, I don't like it, Lord. Change my life. Change my soul. Change my... If you don't pray at home, when you come to church, your children, they normally, they, will, they want to hear your confession. Say, Lord, what is happening? Lord, do it for me. Do it for me. Everything for you. Do it for me. The children will just say, eh. Because what you cannot discover with them, they know when it is time for prayer, you open up. Here we are. Here I am. Send me. Here I am, send me, if the Lord, if the Lord wants somebody, here I am, here I am, send me, Lord, send me. You may be seated, thank you. Let me take you to the book of Romans 5. Say, Therefore, having been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom also we have access by faith. Take note of that. Through whom also we have what? By faith. What does this mean? This means it is natural. For you to function in faith because that is the nature of your life as a child of God. It is natural for you to function in faith because that is the nature of your life. Your confession is your faith. If it is negative confession, it is unbelief dominating your spirit because our spirit always responds to our confession. Tell your neighbor, my spirit always responds to my confession. It is positive, clear-cut confession that wins. It is what? It is positive, clear-cut confession that wins. I think I am healed. It's not a clear-cut confession. It will be better tomorrow. It's not a clear-cut confession. I know... This sickness did not enter into my life one day. It will take three days. I, will, I, I need to pray it for three days for the sickness to be over. It's not a clear court confession. It is positive, clear court confession that wins. I am healed. Thank you, Jesus. If that declaration comes from faith, I will be healed indeed. Many of us are not confessing failure, but we find ourselves in failure realm. It is surprising what faith people have in wrong things. Many of us never confess failure, but we find ourselves in failure realm. And confession solves problems and gives possession. Like the test I've given you in that book of First Samuel 17, in that verse 46, David confessed that the victory was already on his side even before the battle began. 
all David said came to pass. Ask your neighbor. Do you ever confess the life you are living now? That is why we always go with uh, almost 20 business cards. You are the contractor. You are the, you are the, you are the, you are the, anywhere they call engineer, you bring out the cards. <laughs> because the future is not clear. Tell your neighbor, the future is not clear. Where there is no vision. If the Lord said to me, TV Joshua, you, you're a fisherman today. I will just tell my member, praise the Lord. Where is fisher net? I'm going. Because I know if I continue fishing, I will prosper with it. But here I am. The Lord said, TV Joshua, continue. This is your job. If you, your declaration comes from faith, your struggle will make you stronger. If your confession concerning your situation comes from faith, you will embrace victory. If your declaration comes from faith, you will have God's hand performing all things for you. Rise up, rise up, and declare this to your life. If my declaration comes from faith, I will have God's hand perform me all things. Si ma déclaration vient de la foi, j'aurai Dieu qui vient derrière cette déclaration. Face your neighbor and think about what I'm saying now. It's a waste of wisdom. Eh? My declaration, whatever I say, I say I'm an engineer, I'm a prophet, I'm this, I'm that, I'm that, I'm that, I'm that, I'm that, whatever I declare now that I am. Oh, if that declaration comes from faith, I will have God's hands perform me or thing. We are God guys. Tell you anymore, if my declaration comes from faith, I will have God's hand perform me. Not something. Somebody is saying something there. Can you hear what you're going to say? I, listen, listen. I derive this from the song you sing every day. Have faith in God. Have faith in God. All things are possible. Have faith in God. So now, I know many keep asking themselves, what does he say? Now you can understand what I'm talking about. If I'm saying I'm a cleaner in office, and that declaration comes from faith, that is, it's my divine call to be a cleaner. <laughs> and I receive anointing to do the cleaning of the office. <sighs> I will have God's hand. Pop for me. Oh. This is why you see cleaner today becoming so rich and famous. Why you managing director, chairman of many companies, you are living under the poverty 
level with your degree and whatever. This is why we see the lame, disabled, so famous and rich, worthy, and you able to live under what? Live under the poverty. If you receive anointing to be a servant, you will have God's hand performing all things for you. Ask your neighbor, does your declaration come from faith? You may be seated. When your declaration comes from faith, your word will become prophetic. This is why when David was telling the Philistines, he was telling them that I will cut this man head, yo, and the man head has never been caught already. The battle ever begin at all. And he was telling them, I will beat this man, and I will cut his head, and I will kill him. And the whole world was looking at David, that what are you saying? The man you say you will kill is still standing. He was prophesying to his life. When your declaration comes from faith, your word will become prophetic. Your preaching will become prophetic. Your message will become prophetic. Your thinking will become prophetic. Your looking will become prophetic. Your dancing will become prophetic. Everything you do will become prophetic. Your greeting will become prophetic. Your hallelujah will become prophetic. Amen will become prophetic. Anything at all, everything will become prophetic. Ask your neighbor, does your declaration come from faith? Once again, ask your neighbor, does your declaration come from faith? What do I mean by declaration? Everything that has to do with you, you're looking. Are you look a look of faith? Work a work of faith? The job, what are you doing? Your professional job. Do you have anointing for it? Everything that has to do with you, your word. My head, my shoulder, my knee, my toes, my head, my shoulders, my knees, my toes. Everything, your faculties belong to Jesus. You should carry it where Jesus will be honored. Jesus must be honored. Must be honored. Must be honored. Jesus must be honored in my life every day. Jesus must be honored. Maybe seated. Your declaration. I'm a pastor. Does that declaration come from God? If that declaration does not come from God, 
It's a matter of time. Don't fight for God. God will fight for himself. This man is a demon. This man is a... That is nonsense. Don't fight for God. You cannot fight for God. If this man does say, I'm from God, it's not from God. Leave it for God. When you see people fighting for God, you know they are fighting for their pocket. How can you? You tools. We are a tools in the hands of God. When you pick a tools, this is it. This is, you are just like this in the hands of God. When you finish writing, you drop it. You can use how can you now fight it? It's who's fighting for you. Your pain fighting for you. It's possible. Soon you will finish this book and you drop it somewhere. For this book fighting for you. We cannot fight for God. God fight for us. We have two people in the world today. Those who fight for God and those who God fight for. Tell your neighbor, we are truths in the hands of God. When you begin to see ministers of God begin to say, that man, that man is a demon, is a demon, knowing that uh, he's fighting for his pocket. Salvation is his pocket. That is not our job. We are truths in the hands of God. If your declaration does not come from God. You will not be able to stand the test of time. In that first Psalm 17, verse 46, here David confessed that victory was on his side even before battle began. Tell your neighbor, make sure your declaration comes from faith. Tell your neighbor once again. I can hear you. Sois sûr que ta déclaration vienne de la foi. So that you have be God on your side. And you with him a majority. When your declaration comes from faith, like good example I was given to you, you and him are lifting the load together. Be God. Baba God. I have a very big God. It's always by my side. A very big old by my side, by my side. I serve a very big old who is always by my side. A very big old by my side, by my side. Oh, by my side, by my side. By my side, by my side. By my side, by my side. I serve a very big old. Where are we going? Our failure to give Christ his proper position, his proper place in our heart is actually responsible for the crisis of our confession. 
there is crisis in our confession. What you speak out, we seem to be lying. I'm here, I'm there. Man of God will say, in Jesus' name, we say, Amen. He only say, Amen. Because man of God say, in Jesus' name. Not that he believe, oh. Show your excitement. Some people say, hey, I'm blessed, yo. It's only dancing, not that he believe, oh, because man of God said they should show their excitement. For how long? We keep conventional. We fast 40 days, 49. At the end of the day, it is true, Jesus fasted 40 days, 49. But the Spirit led him to do so. But if also Jesus asked, fasted 40 days, 49, see, be, Jesus turned water to wine. Why can't you two turn water to wine? Jesus walk on the sea. Why can't you walk on the sea? But you keep selecting those you can do. When it is 40 days, 49, say, hey, it is time. Lent time. Jesus was led by the Spirit. He was led by the Spirit to fast. We must also be led by the Spirit to do so. How do we give proper place? Ask yourself, how do I give proper place? We give proper place when our mind is concentrating upon the things in the spirit. Lord, I want to be like Jesus. You may be seated. Please. Our mind must be disciplined to concentrate upon things in the spirit. You know, many Christians today, 90% of us, we are controlled by outward needs. When we want to pray, we want to buy Jeep, we want prosperity, We want healing. We want job. We want promotion. We want blessing. These are the things that control us. This is the problem we are having today. Church is not fun and game. It is warfare. This is the battle of the ages. Prosperity, there is nothing bad about that. You want to buy a car, Jeep, this, that. If you don't have all this, there's no evidence that really you are prosper. No. A Christian that are controlled by outwardness, prosperity, blessing, this, that, when those things are affected, he will not have anything to rely on or to rest his faith. This is why many of you, uh, you are not coming to church to the, to the last week. You say, um, because my engine may could knock. Because the engine of your vehicle knock. That is why you you cannot join a mole or public vehicle and come to church. Can you see now? Why you did not come to service last Sunday? Hey, because uh, one of my friends was seriously sick. I need to be there. Who is the healer? Whatever situation you are passing through, is it poverty? Let 
let your mind seek things that are above so that you may be comforted in the circumstance. This is what I mean when I say Emmanuel, God with us. If God with us, you will be comforted. No matter the situation you are in, you will be comforted. Let your mind see things that are above so that you may be comforted in the circumstance. When we are controlled by outward things, beautiful things, cars, property, prosperity, money, this, that, 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 those things, if you are controlled by this. Anytime there's trouble with those things, there will be trouble in your relationship with God. No matter the situation you are passing through, is it poverty? Let your mind rise and see things that are above. Is it disappointment? Let your mind rise and see things that are above so that you may be comforted in the circumstance. That is the way out. You know, we talk of faith, confession. There are two things you must consider. Confession and testimony are articles of faith. As a man of faith, whenever you are facing difficult situation, you should learn to use the weapon of testimony and confession. Tell your neighbor, whenever you are facing difficult situation, you should learn to use the weapon of testimony and confession. This was what David used when he was brought to king, king said, you small boy, you say you will fight the giant, giant will kill you. He said, no, king, listen to me. I once used my hand to kill the bear. That was testimony in the past. King now say, ah, you mean you kill bear? Yes. If that is the case, Bia and Goliath, which one is more powerful? King now resorted to, yes, Bia is more powerful. If you can keep Bia, definitely you will kill this man. You are free to go. Whenever you are facing difficult situation as a Christian, Remember to use your weapon of testimony and confession. What the law has done in the past and what the law is able to do in the circumstance. So David was able to tell the king that look, the most high God on my side was able to help me to kill the bear. Eh? You keep bear? He said, yes. We don't know. So whenever you are facing difficulty, facing difficult situation, use the, your weapon. It's your weapon. You have that weapon. What the Lord has done in your life in the past, you know, if I tell you mine, Right from my mommy womb, the Lord has been protecting me. When I was an embryo, the Lord has been protecting me. Look at what embryo has become today. I am not used to woman weapon. Tell your neighbor, I'm not used to woman weapon. I'm not used to woman weapon. 
I'm not used to propaganda. I'm not used to insult. I'm not used to persecution. I'm not used to him. I'm used to God's hammer. I'm used to God's hammer. I have been using it and it has been working for me. God's hammer. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I'm not used to propaganda. I'm not used to fake. I'm not used to insult. I'm not used to persecution. I'm not used to it. I'm not used to I'm not. You cannot use the weapon you, you never used before to fight war. You use the weapon you used to. I'm used to God's hammer, and any time my enemy come, that God's hammer, I'm used to. I'm not used to propaganda, and I'm not used to insult. I'm not used to that. I'm not used to that. When you come to me, I'll say, in the name of Jesus, God's hammer. You know what David said? He said to Philistine, you come against me with sword and weapon. I come against you in the name of God. Rise up and face your neighbor now and say to your neighbor, whenever you are facing difficult situation, learn to use your weapon of testimony and confession what the Lord has done in the past and what the Lord is able to do in the circumstance. 